Tags and custom fields are the paid organizational elements and are exclusive to the premium version. This tutorial video assumes that you already have a catalog set up and know the basic organizational elements for the plugin, both of which are explained in earlier videos in the tutorial series. Tags are used to list attributes of products, which can then be searched by users to narrow down their search. Tags can be anything, such as product colors or features, which can give your visitors more information on your products. Custom fields are the most powerful customization and search tool in the plugin. Custom fields can be made searchable and can help your visitors really narrow down their search of your catalog if product features such as dimensions, brand, or other commonly searched product characteristics are used. We'll start with tags. To create tags, head to the Tags tab. We'll start by creating four tags for our fictional art gallery. To create a new tag, simply use the form on the left to create a tag name as well as a description for internal use. We'll create tags for original work, reproduction, poster size, and abnormal dimensions. Once the tags have been created, head over to the product page. The tags that we've created are now available at the bottom of the form to create a new product on the left hand side of the page. You can also edit your existing products and add tags that have been created, which we'll do now. Next, we'll move to the Custom Fields tab. To create a custom field, the only fields we absolutely have to set are name and type. We'll also set a description for internal use, as well as switch display to both, so that the field is displayed for both thumbnail and detail views. And finally, change searchable to yes. For our example, we'll create a text type custom field named Artist to help our visitors navigate our catalog more easily. After creating the field, head over to the Products page. We can see that our new custom field is available in the Product Creation form on the left at the bottom of the page as the text box that we can now fill out. It is also available when we edit a product. We're going to fill out the Artist field for a number of our existing products. Finally, let's head over to the front-end page that holds our catalog. There are a couple of notable changes. First, we can see that the artist is displayed for each product. Second, in the sidebar there are now a bunch of additional sorting options. We've got the option to sort by the tags that we created, and we also have the option to sort by artist based on the values that we've entered. Each value that appears for a product in our catalog will have its own checkbox. Click on a checkbox and you can see that the catalog gets filtered based on the selection. Check out the plugin page on our website for additional information or subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with future tutorial videos for this and other plugins.